In this work, we propose a stochastic film grain model and a rendering algorithm to synthesize digital images with film grain. Our model is inspired by the physical analog photographic process and therefore achieves realistic results at any desired resolution. Starting from an input digital image, we generate film grain with arbitrary zoom and render efficiently stylized images at any resolution. Film grain is the specific texture which results from the photographic process of silver halide photography. Many directors and photographers require the look of analog photography and appreciate film grain for its artistic value. In this work, we propose a realistic stochastic film grain model and an algorithm to render any digital image with film grain. The continuous nature of our model means that we can render film grain on an image with an arbitrary zoom factor. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first work to propose such a resolution-free algorithm. First, we sample the grains from the input image. This defines our continuous film grain model. Then, the model is evaluated using a Monte Carlo simulation, which generates the final output image. Our film grain model should imitate actual physical film grain and display grain clumping, in other words, the tendency of grains to form larger agglomerations. The model should also be stationary in regions of uniform gray level. These characteristics are all ensured by use of a Boolean model, which is well studied in stochastic geometry. The Boolean model corresponds to a sequence of random compact sets uniformly distributed with an underlying Poisson process. Our model is defined using disks of possibly random radii. The number of disks in a given region is defined by the intensity, lambda, of the Poisson process. Since we wish to represent a complete image, we use a variable intensity, lambda, which is chosen to respect the local image gray level. This variable intensity defines an inhomogeneous Boolean model. Now that the film grain model has been defined, the output image can be rendered. Thus far, our film grain model is continuous, and we must evaluate this model on a discrete grid to create the output image. We evaluate the gray level of each pixel using a Monte Carlo simulation. For a given pixel, the Monte Carlo simulation consists in evaluating the Boolean model at a certain number of points which are sampled with a Gaussian distribution centered on the pixel. Each evaluation is equal to 1 if the sample point is covered by a model and equal to 0 otherwise. The final output gray level is the average value of all the samples. The output image can be of any desired shape or resolution. Film grain rendering can be used to give a vintage look to modern photos as we see in this example. The addition of film grain to this black and white image significantly enhances its artistic value. Our algorithm provides the ability to zoom indefinitely on the image to the point where individual grains may be observed. Increasing the grain radius parameter allows the user to create a more grainy result. An added advantage of film grain rendering is a perceived increase in the output image resolution. Finally, it is also possible to add film grain to videos to give them an analog look. Thank you for watching our video on stochastic modeling and realistic rendering of film grain.